Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Sainar Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. We're going to work on our range stack view um, section here in this lesson. So we're going to get right into it. So open up your Xcode projects if you don't have them open already. And let's get right to this thing. So three things in this lesson. We're going to create an IB action from the submit answer button to code. We're going to create the outlet for the range slider. And we're going to convert our slider value um, to uh, to be able to append it to the current answers array index. So we got to do a little math, which I'm horrible at, but thankfully I practiced. And so hopefully I can get it right in this video. All right, so let's get right to it. So um, I have uh, my comments down here as well. So first things first is we need to go ahead and create this action. So I got it down here. So with the questions VC highlighted in the... Uh, and the document outline over here, I'm going to hold option, click on main dot storyboard, and uh, got the range stack view open already. Good. Okay. And so now I'm going to control click and drag from the submit answer button from the, from the document outline, and then I'm going to make sure it is called ranged answer button pressed. All right. Make sure your connection is an action. Uh, and then for our argument, the sender, we can just click none on that one and then we'll hit connect. All right, got that. And then the next thing is we need to create the, the outlet for the range slider. So we want to stay organized, as I mentioned in the previous lesson. And so we're just going to create it right underneath our ranged um, stack view uh, properties up here at the top or IV outlets. So I deleted the comment and I'm just going to highlight the horizontal slider. From the, from the document outline and I'm going to control click and drag from there to here and I'm going to release make sure connection is an outlet and we'll just call it ranged slider and it's a type UI slider that's correct and I'm going to hit connect all right got that there good uh, all right last thing so now we need to do some conversion conversions and so this is what we're going to do so we need to convert our slider value to current answers um, so this is what we're going to do so we're going to say let uh, actually I'll close out of this first so I'm going to close out of the assistant editor I got the standard opener standard editor open only so same thing so let current answers equals and we'll say questions and then we'll say question index and say dot answers all right and so the next thing is we need to do this. So we need to do some conversion. Um, what, the reason why we need to convert is because the slider, we want it to be d divided up into four different portions. So a slider's value goes from zero to one. So technically from zero to 0. Point or 0. 0.25 can be the, the first choice that will correspond to the first animal. And then from 0. 0.25 to 50, the second animal. And then from there to 0.75, the third animal then 0.75 up to one will be the last animal so that's how we want to divide it up right and so we are going to do some math here so we can append uh, the index and make sure it's rounded up to the nearest number that the nearest integer so we can get a, an accurate whole number that will correspond to a particular animal all right so let's do this so we're gonna say uh, let index equals and we are gonna go, we're gonna say int, and then we're gonna open up a uh, parentheses, and we're gonna start typing round, and we'll just hit that, it says double, and we'll say ranged slider dot value, and we're gonna times it by, start typing float, and open up another parentheses, and we'll say um, current answers dot count minus one. All right, and so that'll give us what we need. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to append it. One of the last things we need to, uh, so we'll say chosen answers dot append. And we'll just say um, current, ans current answers. And we'll open up a bracket and we'll just say uh, index right there, the first one. All right, cool, and we got that done. And then the last thing is just going next question. All right, so that is it for this lesson, guys. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope that made sense. If it doesn't, you may want to revisit this video or even read it in the book, Our Development with Swift, Swift 4 edition. 
and maybe it'll make some more sense to you. But just like me, I had to kind of practice this a couple of times before I got on, got on camera to record this. So i uh, not going to act like I understand this completely, but I'm just showing you guys how this stuff works. Um, so this has been St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. Thank you guys for joining me. Happy coding to you guys, and y'all take care.